different story. You can sit up here, I guess, mm -hmm. and on the steps. <laughs> many people, many people have a big party to celebrate the beginning of a new year. And a new year means that the world we live on is making another big trip around the sun. We don't have to pack for it. We don't feel the earth move as we go on this trip. It takes a bunch of days and nights to make the trip. <clears throat> Yesterday was the last day of the year 2021, and today's the first day of a new year, and it looks like this. Okay, can you say that? 2022. Perfect. Say it again. 2022. Very nice. Is there another way you could say this? 2021. Is there another way you can say it? Twenty five. <laughs> you could also say two zero two two. If you're if you wanted to be really cool, you could put up your fingers and just go twenty two. or writing a new year because our brains have gotten so used to saying the old one usually by next month people have got it all stored in their brains but I want to tell you a story about somebody who didn't know what year it was now my son Kurt likes to ride a mountain bike do you know what that is Okay, has big fat tires, goes in the dirt. He was home from college for Christmas, and he went on the trails near our house, and he took a spill. What do I mean by a spill? Right. Another word for that could be accident, wipe out. So he wiped out. He wasn't on his bike anymore, and he was sitting in the dirt. His shoulder hurt, and his bike was laying down. And he sat, and sat, and sat. And it was getting dark. No more people were bicycling by. No more people were walking their dogs or running. 
But some motorcyclists came by, and they stopped, and they asked Kurt, are you okay? And he said four very important words. He said, I don't think so. So the motorcyclist helped him get back to the parking lot. It was about a two-mile walk, and Kurt's shoulder hurt, and his head hurt, and finally he remembered our phone, phone number. So his dad and I met him in the parking lot and took him to the hospital. Now the emergency room nurse was very nice, and she asked Kurt, Kurt, what year is it? And Kurt said, I don't know. She said, Kurt, I'm going to tell you my name. And it's very important that you remember this, because I'm going to come back in a few minutes and ask you what my name is. Kurt said, OK. She said, my name is Amy. Kurt said, OK. She said, it's very important. I want you to remember that. Now, when someone tells you something's very important to remember, you try to remember. And sometimes you can make a game out of it. Like for Amy, you can say A is the first letter of the alphabet, and me is me. So, Amy. Got it. Now, see if any of you can remember that nurse's name by the end of my story, okay? So, the nurse came back. And she asked Kurt, what is my name? And Kurt looked at her and he said, I have no idea, but you are beautiful. <laughs> well, the nurse looked at Kurt and she said, you are so spending the night in the hospital. <laughs> So Kurt did, he spent the night in the hospital, and his brain started to feel better, and his memory got better, and once they were sure that his brain was getting better and not worse, they scheduled, scheduled him to have surgery on the mess of a bone that was right here. You can feel that on yourself. It's kind of a long one, goes from the shoulder, kind of to your neck. It's called a clavicle. And Kurtz was a total mess, so he got that fixed. There are a lot of things to learn from this story, and you can take home whatever you want, whatever you get out of it. It might be like, wow, it really is a good idea to wear a helmet when you ride your bike, or Maybe it's a good idea to fight with a friend, or maybe I really need to work on my memorization skills. Speaking of which, does anyone remember the nurse's name? Amy. Very good. Yeah, that was the nurse's name. Whether I look at each part of the story, or I zoom out and I look at the whole event, I see a lot to be thankful for. And this year, as I make another trip around the sun, I want to gather as many thankful stories as I can, so there's lots and lots and lots of them. Let's share those stories with each other and thank our Creator God for His many blessings. Thank you. You can go back to your seats.